Dear sisters and brothers gathered in the EFK, in the Ecumenical Forum for Korea, in Bangkok. Greetings from Geneva, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is also a pleasure for me to greet you and remind you and all of us that one year ago we met here in Geneva and in Bosse. During the Central Committee of the World Council of Churches, we heard significant addresses both from KCF and from NCCK and we received with great enthusiasm the perspectives and the news of some new beginnings of a peace process both from the media but also from your presence and the messages you brought. We also remember the joyful moments we had in Bosse as we could sing and laugh together and also to celebrate these 70 years of the World Council of Churches, working with you and many others for justice and for peace in the world. We also had the pleasure of having the visit of His Holiness Pope Francis and also the opportunity for you to meet with him briefly. I say this also to remind ourselves that one year is quite also a long time between every time we have the opportunity to meet. Unfortunately, I was not able to attend your meeting this time as I had already other commitments for these dates. But I think we should be aware of the significance and the importance of our encounters, of being together as sisters and brothers, sharing our concerns, but also sharing our hopes and celebrating as we could do last time. I also remind you and myself that um, last year we had the privilege to visit both Seoul and Pyongyang together with the representatives of the WCRC, the General Secretary and also colleagues from the WCC which was also a significant moment after the first inter-Korean summit. We see the significance of what we are doing also in these perspectives that we, we have been together, we continue to be together and we represent more than the political initiatives. We represent the peoples and the peoples of faith initiatives and our initiatives to really make a difference. So after so many years of confrontation and antagonism we really saw and we see a sign of hope that the catastrophic conflict that these confrontations in the area of Korea has brought now is colored and inspired for new political initiatives and they are taken by the leaders of the two states but also of the United States but we also know that peace cannot be made only by them among these high political leaders who have to take the responsibility and start a real process that also bring substantial negotiations but also substantial results from the negotiations. There is also a need for that people like us, people of faith but also people in the civil societies get together and share this vision and promote it. As you know, the World Council of Churches has long been concerned by the counterproductive effects of stringent sanctions, particularly as it works out against the DPRK and its people. Because we now see that this makes obstacles for all of us to also be together in a real sharing, also in a diaconical sharing. We believe that time has come to change, to change these regimes, to see that we can only build peace when we really share the wealth and the goods, but also to have a real exchange, to develop the economies and develop the well-being of all people. As a World Council Churches, therefore, we support this step-to-step -step approach that is now announced and that it really must be an approach of building trust, building by st putting stone to stone, taking step by step 
towards a peaceful coexistence in the Korean Peninsula. And we are, I have to say, we are also greatly alarmed that the Hanoi summit didn't give that result. Therefore, even more, also there was a sign of hope in the recent meeting between the Chairman Kim, the President Moon of South Korea, and President Trump from the United States of America, in this demilitarized zone, that we are on a road to peace. We are on a way to peace, and steps are taken. But new steps must be taken as well. And as an ecumenical movement, promoting this people-to-people -people encounter through the churches, I want to thank you. I want to thank you, representative of KCF, of NCCK, and all our partners, churches in Korea and elsewhere in the world, to really support with your heart and your minds and your resources and your time these efforts to work together in an ecumenical forum, but also far beyond that. So let us together continue to pray, to work, and to really hope in a concrete way that this peace process really will lead to something for the sake of the peace of the people of Korea, for the sake of the peace in the world. And therefore your meeting is also such a significant step on this way. I wish you well and wish you God's blessing in your conversations and in your efforts these days. Thank you.